Will Planet Coaster 2 be revealed this week? Well, that didn't quite age so well. And here is me to admit that I wasn't right. In fact, I was totally wrong. Well, yeah, what shall I say? So, Planet Coaster 2 has not been announced during this week's, gay or last week's, I should say, um, Summer Game Festival, which, honestly, I am fairly surprised. And I hope that this video will also show people that we are just normal people. We don't have quite extra info or something. I don't know how many comments I got, like, blah, blah, you know it, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not. I don't. I just don't. See, the point is that... Everything I was trying to get across was there is a high chance because that has been the case how Frontier acted the last seven years. But I think it's the final nail um, in the coffin of Planet Coaster and Frontier and everything that we used to know in the past. Things have changed and uh, this seems to be right for everything, including game announcements. And hell, I think at this point we can even scrap it and we should not take the November release as I always thought for granted. You know, maybe the new CMS game is not even coming out this year. Maybe it's opted for next year. But there are some some things we shall look into because last week something changed and I haven't made a video about this because I didn't want to, you know, do something again and again and again. But we have to talk about this now. I just waited for Sunday to a miracle to happen. But it didn't, and so uh, we need to talk about this, what happened last week. So it's enough of the sad mu music, let's look into what happened. So, there has been a notice of trading update by Frontier, which basically tells all the shareholders that there's going to be a financial update on the coming Wednesday, which is just in two days time. And, you know, don't be uh, kind of uh, shocked or whatever, it's not the time for the, uh, uh, you know, monthly uh, Frontier Unlocked, this is way too early, um, but at first this was released on June 6th and I was like, okay, at the first glance I was like, oh my god, okay, so this is the final news that on Sunday they will actually show a trailer and then two days later they will showcase how much this already has uh, impacted the financial stuff, but then I was like, wouldn't that be a little bit weird about, you know, talking about this? And maybe um, this Wednesday then is going to be an info about the well, estimated launch day, maybe? Maybe we're gonna see it. So, okay, get me. don't get me wrong. I, I'm not going to predict anything anymore, okay? So I may very well be wrong again, so I'm not going to say any date or whatnot. But I do feel like that this is definitely an update for them to, well, give them at least a reason to believe in Frontier. You know, it's a financial update and to shareholders and all they want is money at the end of the day and want to be satisfied, you know, and so, you need to give them something. So surely they will showcase the player base that we've seen uh, has been uh, skyrocketing with the sale. But, you know, a sale only sometimes makes you money. Uh, most of the times it doesn't. So what I'm saying is um, this is a next puzzle piece. And yeah, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go too deep into it. I just wanted to give you the update that there is a reasonable explanation to why, well, not things have changed. Because I... I do want to talk about the gaming show in a second, because we have to talk about this real quick. I just want to say, first of all, sorry if I may have some, you know, sparked some hopes or whatnot, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm a creator and I do make videos and I've never said that this is for granted. I gave you the reasons why I went there and here I am to admit I was wrong. I'm sorry, I was wrong. So that happens, okay? Uh, without any extra info, and I mean, even if I would have had extra info, I surely wouldn't have made the video. That would have been absolutely stupid. Um, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm just a normal person, and I thought I'm gonna make this video to just also hopefully, once and for all, showcase that if I do say I have no extra info, well, I do not have extra info. All I'm doing is trying to do some puzzle pieces and just as my little daughter, sometimes I don't get them right and I try to fit a puzzle piece in an open spot even though it's not fitting because I want it to be in there so much. She's doing that, literally, she's doing that. But as promised, I wanted to quickly talk about the gaming show. Now, PC gaming show in the past has been a mixture of indie games, some mid-level games and then some some games that are already going into the A level, A plus maybe sometimes, but this time around, 
oh boy, has this been a letdown. Um, it's been a, in my opinion, and I'm very sorry, you know, for all the indie devs out there, I'm very sorry, you know. I know how much passion and love goes into making these games, and we know that there are a lot of great games, but oh my god, has this been a shit show. Like, I've sat there through all these two-ish two plus hours, and honestly, only 10% of it was, was worth my time. And even these 10% were like, with a lot of, you know, love for indie games and stuff. And these two world premieres at the end of the two hours were the biggest letdown ever. I can't even recall a single letter from the names of these games. That was horrible. Like, you, you've, you've got people sitting through two hours and then this kind of weird stuff appears there. So, um, the quality of the PC gaming show this year was absolutely horrendous. And honestly, I do hope, at least at the end of the day, Frontier has more insight to that than I have. And if they have seen this prior to the gaming show and they've seen maybe the listing and they obviously know what's going on in the, in the industry, maybe they have decided for themselves that, you know, despite the exposure that you still would have there being within the range of these awkward indie games wouldn't have been the best brand fit for a planet coaster or the, a planet game that has established itself as a brand as a solid gaming brand um, and in this sense at the end of the day i'm even kind of happy that it hasn't been announced during the game pc gaming show because honestly it would have felt super off uh, but other than that, I still was wrong, and um, I think I admitted that enough now in the video. Um, so all I'm saying is, I'm not yet burying my hopes of Planet Coaster 2. I'm still very hopeful that it will come, but I do also say that the window is closing. Um, just as a, as a final thought, maybe, um, if they are aiming for, let's say, uh, I don't know, early 2025, which, as I said, is a possibility, I'm still pretty confused because at the very end they have Jurassic World Evolution 3, which I also made a video about, um, announced. This is this is for granted, okay? This is legit, it's confirmed. And yeah, sure, it, th theoretically, it can release between the 1st of June 2025 till the 31st of May 26. However, we know that a new Jurassic movie is being released 2025 mid-year, so it makes a lot of sense that Jurassic World Evolution 3 will be released somewhere around the movie. And this is not guessing, this is just purely marketing and we've seen that happening with Jurassic World Evolution 2. It just makes total sense um, to not release this, oh sorry, it was, wasn't it one? I forgot. One of these two Jurassic games has been released during the, the movie. Or with, Actually it was one, because two had the Dominion update during the movies. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, this lets a window of half a year maybe so I'm, I'm really not sure what they're doing marketing wise I'm just very confused because the la the longer you wait um, until early spring and you know after Christmas no one is gonna release anything so it's gonna be if they do it early 2025 it would definitely be spring so March April and that would leave us with only three months in between two games and the fact that Frontier has actually laid off so many people especially in the comms department Who's gonna who's gonna handle that? Who's gonna handle two game releases in the span of three months? I don't see this happening. So I am very confused. I just can't figure out what's going on right now. As I said, I am very confused, and I yeah, I I shall and will stop making these videos now until it is released because I simply um, have to admit that. Everything has changed to a point where there is no guessing or no uh, estimation uh, reasonable at this point anymore. And so, well, I will apologize if that made someone feel bad. But as I said, at the end of the day, it's your decision to click on the video. Uh, I gave all the reasons and uh, so here I am. But yeah, as I said, uh, we're going to stop doing these videos now until it's been released. And I do hope that this is just a couple of weeks <laughs> break of making these videos uh, because I... I can't hide that I need this game in my life. I need Planet Coaster 2 very quickly because otherwise I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Anyhow, have a wonderful evening, guys, uh, and yeah, enjoy this uh, late night video of mine today. Well, depending on where you live, if you're in the United States or so, well, have a good noon or so. <laughs> I talk to you in the next one. Have a good time and goodbye.